Good morning, it's a parkrun tourism adventure and we're back on the trains after a bit of car use recently, hasn't yeah. it been? Does it feel nice to be back on the trains? Though, Especially Avanti. A nice Avanti train, isn't it? Though it was barely making it to the train this morning, we made it with seconds to spare, didn't we, Iona? <laughs> and I have had to buy a coffee on the train because I left the coffee I'd made in the pannier of my bike. Oops. But where are we going today, Iona? Harrow. Yeah, so I want, ticking off one of our London park runs, train Hats down to Watford, to trains from Watford to Harrow, buses then to the park run. It's going to be a fun adventure today, isn't no. it? What? So we're walking. You're going to walk all the way, are you? No. We'll see how the times are doing. No, I'm sure it was walk distance. You think it's walk distance? It was like one minute or something, or like four minutes. I don't know, we'll see when we get there. So, carry on the journey down to Watford first of all. So we're just making the walk from the station to find the park run about a mile walk from Harrow Station. Hopefully a park run at the end of it, isn't there, Iona? Bit of a challenge with the trains, the overground trains having signaling problems, but fortunately, quick change of platform and we managed to catch to London North Western here, didn't we? And didn't get our train tickets checked. <laughs> no, no, we're only we on still the... still would have had tickets, don't we? Yeah, I th I'm not sure. I think so. <laughs> I've lost track, Iona. It's been such a chaotic journey this morning. We've made it to the park run, we've found the start. We're all busy trying to shelter under the eaves of the clubhouse at the moment because it's still a bit damp and drizzly, isn't it, Iona? And I was the one that spotted the start. Sorry. You did, you spotted the start, didn't you? So, yep. Should be a pretty flat course, I reckon, shouldn't it? Though somebody said on the tourism group there's a secret hill. So we'll see if we can find a secret hill as we're running round. But must be almost time for the first time of briefing might, and find out what's happening. It might be like the Monster Trail where you just go slowly. Could be. Could be. Let's see what happens. All right, so welcome to the Harrow Park Run. Uh, very simple, you can't get lost. Um, so it's one small inner loop and three large loops around the park, okay? So we're going to start just around this corner here. I'll show you on the map in a minute. You'll run all the way down there to the car park, past the playground, and that's where your first inner loop starts. And you'll be guided by marshals and there'll be bollards and you just can't miss it. One loop is all the way around the park, two loops and all the way around the park. And on the third loop, come in through the tunnel there. So welcome to everybody on a wet morning. At least it's stopped now. So you might be all right. If you get going quickly, we might get round before the rain starts again. We're off. Just as we were about to start, the rain started getting a bit heavier again. The drizzle stopped, it turned into rain. But we're here. And a change from the last few weeks when we've been mostly running country parks. Today we're back at a city park, which does have the big advantage. We are running on tarmac today. No muddy shoes by the end of it, I don't know. Right, so first we have a little diddy lap to do. So we're just completing the mini lap. I've just managed to put my foot in a big puddle. So I'm end up getting muddy, but I'm getting wet feet. And we've just run past the bowls club here. Little cafe just there as well. So maybe the place to go for a breakfast afterwards. We'll see what they've got in store. Mm -hmm. 
So we've done a mini loop and now on to the big loops. There's three big loops to complete of this park. And we're on, I think, what they call the secret hill. <laughs> it's not much of a hill, just a gradual incline at the one side of the park before we run down the other. Well, we've done the secret hill and now we're running downhill. Is it aeroplane wings time, Iona? No, you put me downhill. Ah, not downhill -y enough for aeroplane wings. Nah. Well done. Thank you, Marshall. <laughs> Iona has just spotted an outdoor gym. So. By Wicksteed! By Wicksteed! What and did. I've now got Wicksteed stationery! Yeah, because Wicksteed, after we did the park run over at Wicksteed um, home, we have been spotted Wicksteed playground furniture everywhere. That's Kettering Park, when it's their home of Wicksteed playground furniture, and they've got a theme park and so on there. And yes, the other day, I was at an exhibition, and Wicksteed ah. were there exhibiting. So I was able to get Iona some Wicksteed merch. So you're very yeah. happy with that, aren't you, Iona? I got a Wicksteed pen, I got a Wicksteed notebook. Cool, and that's a fast runner just coming through on his yeah. second lap. We found so far a gym, an obstacle course, and a playground. So plenty for Iona to do in her post park run faff here. But first, we need to get and complete this, play this playground, this park run even. So let's get running, Iona. We are just coming past the start, so having done our mini lap and our big lap, we're on to the second of our big laps now. We are just running past the playground that Iona had a very quick look at as we we're coming into the park run here. We are just making our way up the secret hill for the second time. <laughs> and you can see runners scattered all the way around the park. It's not quite as beautiful perhaps as the country park we were running last week. There's still lots of lovely trees, though the rain has washed down many of the leaves, as Iona calls it. We have got wet cornflakes to run through. So while running here at Harrow Park Run, you get reminded of your own mortality as you run past the graveyard. Two miles has been done. <sighs> what do you want? Sweet. Are the park users here doing their football practice as we run past the start, finish, and not this time through it, we've got another lap to do. Thank you. Well done. Great right running, little lady. Keep going. That's Lots it. of runners who've already finished their three big and one small laps. I was really about to start our third big lap. Are you the train tourists? We are, yes. <laughs> Brilliant work. Well done. Well done. Last one. Is there a huge gap? Because we've done all the posters. Peace Garden just there in the corner of the park. Nice to chat with the tourists as we are running around one section of this lap. We've seen some of our escapism on trains, the challenges we have with that. Not too bad today, just made it. We can see the tail walkers just ahead of us. Can I only catch them and lap them before we get to the finish? They're on their second lap. We're on our third big lap. It's time to head to that finish line. Well done, young lady. Well done. Thank you. Right, what next? 
one You're right, I am. Do you know how I know? How do you know? Just add one to mine. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I'm glad you could do maths. How is that? Oh, good. <laughs> Bit damp. Yeah, not muddy though. Not muddy, you're nice and dry underfoot, was yeah. it? <laughs> you enjoyed that, did you? Yeah. <laughs> right, should we go and get scanned in? Yeah. And see about breakfast next. Just so you know, I've got this. Ah, you've got your barcode on there. Cool. Parkrun done. All scanned and sorted, aren't we, Iona? There is a chance, actually, in the little clubhouse there to get a bacon bap or something, but we've decided to head into Harrow on the Hill itself, and we think we've spotted a good cafe in Harry's Cafe, don't we? Hmm. Somebody on the comments on Google has put excellent breakfast and we like the sound of that. So time to go and find some breakfast and do a bit of post park and faff exploring. And warm up. And warm up. You want a nice hot drink to wrap your hands around, do you? to take a bit of finding from the town Yeah, because it was round the corner. <laughs> yeah, we were going up and down the main street looking for it, weren't we? We found it, and what have you had? Exactly, with cheese and beef. And lots of cheese and beef, aren't there? I've gone for a beef, egg, and potato eat, what do you call it? Hash brown. I never remember the name of hash brown, so I don't know what it is about those. Were well, you ready to eat breakfast out? 4.9. 4.9? Ooh, what's it lost? Point zero one four then. Point one four. Sauce on the salad. Oh, it's got saucy salad, has it? You're not a fan of sauce on the salad. It's balsamic vinegar. Ooh, nice. I took my king. Well, I will. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm going to make it stop when uh, I want it to stop where I am. Uh, It. We've caught the tube now into central London and I've come to St Pancras station because Daddy is really keen to see the tree made of books that they have here. Ever since I saw somebody share about it, I've been wanting to come and see. So, St Pancras station, we're at. So we found the book Christmas tree. We got to listen to a bit of the story, didn't we, being read to us as we sat there and enjoyed a bit of Michael Morpago, wasn't it? Morpago. Morpago. I think it's Morpago. I don't know. Morpago. Okay. And now Write we're going to... Write it down in the comments which one. Okay. And now we're going to do a bit more exploring, shall we? Cool. Paris. Well, we came out of St Pancras Station and what have we spotted, Diana? The museum. <laughs> yes, it's the Francis Crick Institute, which is named after the chap who did a lot of research into DNA. So we've come to explore a bit about how we're made, haven't we, Iona? And you're going to do it in close-up. <laughs> well, one of our things on our part on tourism travels has been about visiting libraries. And today we have definitely visited the biggest library we've visited so far, haven't we, Iona? But in your opinion, is it the Not best? the best. You still like Worcester Library more, but yep. this is the British Library, the grandparent of libraries, isn't it? And we still need to go back to Worcester Library. We <laughs> still need to go back to Worcester Library yes. and explore there, do we? But we lots of interesting exhibitions here, aren't there? And lots of things you liked in the shop as well, weren't yeah. there? But um, definitely worth a visit if you're in London to pop along to the British Library and explore. We are taking the Covent Garden Stairs Challenge. It's the equivalent of climbing a 15-storey building to get up the stairs from the station platform of the Piccadilly Line all the way up to ground level.
We have been having a fun afternoon messing around in London, haven't we? Yeah. We've visited M&M stores, we've seen street music, we've seen Christmas lights. And what are you chomping away at? M&M's. Penis M&M's. Even that though we didn't get them from the M&M store, they're still good. <laughs> they taste exactly the same, just a yeah. bit cheaper if we got them from the same yeah. weren't they? <laughs> So we are having a great fun time, but we are starting to get a bit tired, having walked quite so much. So it's time to start heading back towards Euston Station, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm wondering what my step goal is going to be tomorrow. <laughs> you think you've got to push it up a bit, do you? Yeah. Right, shall we get and walk back to Euston then? We've made it back to Coventry Station. Train was slightly delayed, wasn't it, Iona? <laughs> but we've enjoyed today's little adventure. What's been the best bits? Mm, peanut M&M's. <laughs> peanut M&M's. The best bit of the whole adventure <laughs> is eating a packet of peanut M&M's. Did you enjoy exploring London, though? Yeah. yeah, good. So, if you enjoyed today's little adventure, what do they need to do? Like, subscribe, the notification bell, and share and comment. And we will see you on another little adventure soon, after we've cycled home and got some tea and get warm. Bye, and got warm. Bye. <laughs>